everybody Willie here good old want to go fishing I you know I don't drink sodas very often but when I do I like a good orange crush or grape I'm not a soda guy anymore used to be a long time ago drank them quite a bit they almost ruined me so I stopped drinking them so I drink one a month maybe if I'm lucky but you know they make me feel good I guess I I'm assuming. I like drinking them, so I don't know what they're doing internally. They might be tearing me to pieces inside. But man, does that taste good. And you know, it's a good pick-me-up. And I needed a good pick-me-up. Because after the vacation that I just had, nine days. I was off nine days. I was. And out of those nine days, I had two sunny days. What can you say? You know, you're fighting nature. You're dealing with what you can. And you make the best of what you got. And that's what I did. But I'm going to tell you what. I'm actually glad to be back home. And I'm glad to be here where it's warm and I can look outside and go, you know what? Rain all you want. I don't care. But hey, you'll be happy to know that tomorrow morning I go back to work and it's supposed to be 75 degrees and completely sunny. What a cruel joke that is. Anyway, let's get off of that and let's talk about something else. The one thing that I want to talk about, and if you've looked at the title or you've seen the picture of this particular episode, is this little guy right here. This is the Zebco 11 in the Platinum Edition. Now, we've talked about these little trigger reels in some past videos. This one I've had for a pretty good long time, and I really do like the thing. I like it quite a bit. They're fun to use. And what I used to do with these was uh, when I first started using these, I put them on fly rods. Um, small fly rods. I, I like a three weight, I think it was a six foot three weight and a White River Canyon or something like that from Bass Pro Shops. And what I would do with them is when I was trout fishing or if I was creek fishing, walking the creek or a river, and I had some overhang that I just couldn't side cast under, what I would do is with these things, with that little trigger, it's just like holding a spinning rod and holding that spinning reel, basically, holding that line, I could take that fly rod flip underneath of, and I mean flip, backhand, flip, whoop, right up underneath of any of that low-lying, those branches or limbs or any kind of shrubbery, foliage, whatever you want to say, that hangs over the river. And a lot of times I could get that thing under there in places that you just couldn't get a normal rod when you're casting sidearm and all of that, just by flipping with this little thing right here, one-handed. Because a lot of times when I was doing this, I might have been holding on to the bank with this hand, there's a lot of the places that I went in, I could wade, but there might have been rocks and trees and stuff all up beside of me, but I could hold on to whatever I wanted to hold on to and then take this and flip underneath of that to catch a trout, to catch a, a red eye, a small mouth, whatever, to, you know, whatever decided to bite. But these little guys right here helped me out considerably. Now, this is the Platinum Edition. The Platinum Edition is an all-metal, three-bearing reel that handles up to four-pound test. Since I've owned this one, I have never taken it apart or cleaned it out. And I think it's just about time. And I mean, you could take your thumb and go on the chrome right here, and man, it just, it just shines up. It shines up like a beautiful Elderbrock carburetor breather. That was a terrible comparison. But it, uh, it does, it just shines right up. So I'm gonna take this thing, we're gonna take it all apart, clean it up, show you how easy it is, and uh, at some point, we're going to get this thing back out in the water and go fishing with it. Now, there's a couple of editions of this very reel. There's one, for example, is the Bill Dance crappie edition. Bill has things. Bill has some stuff out there with his name on it, and that's one of them. It's the same identical reel, basically, but it's in a copper color in the Bill Dance version. And uh, also a good reel, and I have one of them as well. So... Anyway, let's get to taking this thing apart. I'm going to bring you guys down here to the old table of contents so you can see what's going on and show you how simple it is to take this thing apart and clean it up. What do you think about that? So grab yourself an orange crush and kick back and we'll do some real repair today.
And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The little Zebco 11 Platinum Edition, all taken apart and put back together again and working smoothly. All three bearings are in there just rolling away. A lot better than it was before I started, that's for sure. Uh, I didn't completely have to disassemble the thing though, which is really good because the grease that was in it was actually still really, really good. In really good shape. It wasn't thick and hardened up or anything like that. So basically what I did was just scrape out all the stuff I could get to that's old and nasty and clean it out as best I can and uh, throw it back together because these things are like, uh, I don't even know how to explain them. They're, they are the epitome of beat them to death and just keep using them. That's just how they are. So cleaning these things up can really make a difference in them. Um, this one really did. It came out really nice. So what we're going to do is find a rod, which shouldn't be too hard, should be kind of like this. That's right. That's how easy it is in, in this house anyway. This is a Shakespeare ugly stick. It is a very small one. It's about, I think this is a four foot eight. And really that's pretty good for this little reel right here. It's going to be easy just to you know, flip and, and toss and I can use anything from uh, beetle spins to rooster tails, even the little jigs and things that I use with the crappie max, maybe even just a little bobber and hook setup. This thing will be perfect for that. But this is a little one piece rod, it's in an ultralight and this reel is gonna look really good on there. If you find one, they're really easy to work on, they're really easy to use. Um, Great for flipping, great for kids to just get out and cast and learn. We're going to get this thing out here and do some fishing with it. Who knows, maybe today. I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry at the end of one of these videos. Has anybody else figured that out yet? <laughs>